Hi everyone, let's begin one regression numerical that is based on two variables. So there is a table has been given for the various values of the two variable. One variable is x, another one is variable y. So how we are going to calculate coefficient of regression and determine the regression equations which may be associated with the given value of the variables. So two things we are going to calculate here. One is we will calculate, you can see here, coefficient of regression. And here is determine the regression equations. So two things we have to calculate. And what are these regression coefficients? We have to calculate bxy and byx. Simply we are going to calculate byx. These two things we are going to calculate. And finally we are going to frame regression equations. So what is our first step? And in this question, assumed mean is already given. Assumed mean ax for the variable x is 70 and for variable y this is 58. Total number of n is 70. So first of all we are going to calculate Carl Pearson correlation. So here is what particular Items we require to calculate Carl Pearson equation. Markets, there is the seven kinds of markets, variable x. And first of all, what we will do, assume mean we will minus from each variable. 42 minus 70. 42 minus 70 because assume mean is already given, right? So that would be minus 28. Same, 44 minus 70. And that would be minus 26. 58 minus 70. That would be minus 12. And so on. We will do it. 66 minus 70. Then minus 4. Finally, we will get the sum of all these values. So here is sigma dx equal to minus 38. Same thing. Now, what we have to do? We will square of all these values. 28 is square. 784. 26 is square. 676. 12, 144, right, and so on. And finally, we will do sum of all these values. Then sigma dx square would be 2990. Same kind of, uh, same kind of uh, uh, solution we require for y variable also. We can see here these are y variable and y as you mean is 58. And here is 58, 56 minus what we have to do, 58. We will do it 58 and 56 minus 58. So here is minus 2. You can see here minus 2. Same way 49 minus 58 minus 9 minus 5. 58 minus 58 0. 6, 58 minus 65 7 18 0 and so on. And finally sigma dy would be 9. And dy square, we will square all these values, 2 square, 4 and all. And finally, we will get the sigma dy square that is 4, 8, 3. Now, this column dx multiplied by dy means dx multiplied by dy. dx and this is our dy. We will multiply both these columns, minus 28 multiplied by minus 2. Minus 26 multiplied by minus 9. Minus 12 multiplied by minus 5. Right? So, we will get these values. Right? And here is minus minus plus. So, ultimately, we will get these values. So, sigma dx dy 987. I am sure till here it is clear. Next step. This is our step 1. Now, this is our step 2. I mean... First of all, we will create that particular equations, this table. And after that, we will move to, we will put all the values, these values into formula of Carl Pearson. You can see a solution of correlation. This is the Carl Pearson correlation formula. N, sigma dx dy, right? And uh, sigma dx dy, right? Here is, you will put one more sigma that is missing here. So, sigma. So, we will put the values of sigma dx and sigma dy divided by this formula. All these you have to read as a square. 
dx square, dx square, dy square, dy square, dy whole square. Now the n, we know n is 7. Multiplied by dx dy, we can see here in this table, 987. And same value, I had put it here, 987. Sigma dx, what is the value? Minus 38. So we have put it minus 38. Multiplied by plus 9, sigma dy. What is the sigma dy value? This is the sigma dy value. So minus, this one is the 9 we had put it. And same is n sigma dx square. Let me check sigma dx square 2990. And uh, here is, let me take another color of pan. Mm, right. And uh, sigma dy square 38483. And you can see here 483. 483. This is 2990. Right. We have to solve all those things. And finally, we have got this value 0 0.904. So the correlation between X and Y is positive because our results are positive and it is reflecting high correlation because it is near to 1. So 0.9. So there is no weak correlation. This is very strong correlation and it is positive correlation because there is no negative sign. Right. Positive correlation means both the variables are moving in the same direction. Now the step 3. Now, what we have to do in this step 3, we can we can see here what we have to do. Step 3. Now, we have to calculate in step 3, here is standard deviation. Sigma x. This is the formula. We will put all the values, right? And we can get the sigma x, right? This is the formula is not required to you. That is not required by you. That is extra. So, sigma x 19.442. Same way we are going to calculate sigma y. So, sigma y, same formula, but we have put the values of y variable and now sigma y is, you can see, 8.206. That is our value. Now, we come to the next step. We have reached on step 3, right, and step 4. This is the step 4. How we are going to calculate coefficient of regression of y on x? So, y on x, you can see sigma y x, b y x equal to r sigma y divided by sigma x. And we have calculated already all the values. r, what is r? r, what is the value of r? You can see here 0 0.904. We have already calculated here is sigma. This is the r value, right? This is the r value. We had put it. And after that, sigma, that required sigma y and sigma y, you can see here 8.206 and sigma y, sigma x 19.442. Yes, this is the value. And finally, we will get the calculate this. And now we can see b y x is 0 0.37. Coefficient of regression x on y is given, right? b y x equal to r sigma x divided by sigma y 0 0.904 multiplied by all these values. And now, B y, bx pi is 2.9 2.197 so we have got the both these coefficient coefficient of regression we have got bxy as well as dyx both these values we have got and now we can cross check whether these values are correct or not so we have to put this is also one of the formula this is the cross checking r equal to bx that would be the under root that is the extended bx multiplied by bxy so, we will put all the values BYX and BXY and finally we will get the same answer that we have received through Carl Pearson correlation. So, I am sure till here it is clear. Now, the next part. Next part of the question is what it is saying? Determine the regression equation. Determine the regression equation. Only till now we have done coefficient of regression. We have got these values BXY and BY x. Now, we will put all the values in the equation. We will convert into this equation. So, what is our next step? First of all, we have to, this is the one of the equation, right? x bar that we are going to treat it as x bar. I mean, you have to write like that. I have not written like that. x bar equal to assume mean plus summation dx divided by n. We will put all the values. So, we will get the value of x bar. Finally, we will get the value of y bar. Assume mean plus sigma dy divided by n. And this is the value of the y bar. Now, the regression equation or the equation of line of regression of y on x is, you can see here, y minus 
y minus small y that means that is we are talking about y bar right i am just putting y bar byx x bar so y minus because you can see y bar is 59.286 value of the x we have to put it here uh, this one is sorry byx value and x minus x we are going to we, we we will calculate what was the value we will put and then we are going to calculate 64.5671 that is the value of x bar and we will put all the values and finally we have reached on this equation y on x and same way right regression e equation of x on y we can calculate and now this is the equation x minus this would be the x bar y minus y bar and we will put all the values and after that we will get this equation x equation also x on y and y on x so i'm sure this video it is it would be helpful we have got the all the answers all the uh, answers those queries we have raised in the question and that has been asked in a question paper of uh, various competitive examinations so calculate the coefficient of regression and determine the regression equation both these things we have calculated so i'm sure hopefully this video would be helpful so keep watching and stay tuned thank you so much